back to my channel. I'm Nisha and today we're going to talk about my April reading list. So one of my big goals for 2020, even though some of them have been rejected because of this whole COVID thing, but anyway, one of my goals is to read more and what better way to do that when you're stuck at home and not able to do anything outside and everybody's working from home too and now you have a lot of time on your hands so why not start another hobby such as reading that's what i'm doing so i wanted to go through the three books that i picked for this month i know it's already kind of this month has already started um but i did want to talk to you guys about these books um these books i already had at home um on hand and i haven't read them First of all, probably never, and then secondly, read them a long time ago, so who knows what it says inside of it? No idea. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the nonfiction book. The nonfiction book that I chose this month is um, Getting to I Do, and it's by Pat by Dr. Patricia Allen and Sandra Harmon. One of my coworkers, Andrea, so shout out to Andrea, she uh, gave me this book to read, and it's actually become pretty popular so I'm interested to see what um, it's all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, read the back for you guys. It says, um, Dr. Patricia Allen's jam-packed seminars in Los Angeles have resulted in over 2,000 marriages. Now you too can take advantage of these proven step by now you can take advantage of this proven step-by-step -step program. Here's what you'll learn. How to attract the right man, when you should make the first move, and when you should not, why equality in a relationship may not be what you're looking for, why sex before commitment is a bad deal, how to have sensational sex, what makes a man run away from a relationship, how to know when you're given, giving too much, how to get what you want without asking, what makes a man want to commit, how to be engaged to the right man within a year with hmm, interesting so I mean this become very popular and it's one of like the self-help books that you can um, find anywhere so it's just I just thought this was interesting and, oh, why not start reading something that would be helpful right so that's my nonfiction for this month and then I picked two um, fiction books for this month and one of them is the turn of the screw and to be honest I read this I kind of read this in high school um, and honestly I don't remember anything that happens I was flipping through the book before I started this video and I was like is this the one where there was like a governess and then stuff happens but then I can't remember if this is it or not and I was looking through and the names that popped up were like Miles and uh, Flora. I'm like, maybe this is the governess one. I honestly don't remember. I probably read like the first chapter and then um, Googled the rest of the book. But I'm going to go ahead and read the back of it. Um, the Turn of the Screw is a novella, short novel, written by Henry James. Originally published in 1898, it is ostensibly, ostensibly a ghost story. Due to its ambiguous content, it became a favorite text of academics who subscribed to new criticism. The novella has had differing interpretations, often mutually exclusive. Many critics have tried to be tried to determine the exact nature of the evil hinted at by the story. Yeah, that doesn't even help me remember um, what this book was about. But I remember but honestly, I kind of want to read all the books from high school because, or middle school that I have. Um, probably because of middle school, but high school and definitely from college that I have. Um, because I honestly don't remember. And to be honest, I didn't really pay attention because it was about academics. And like, we picked these books because of academics. So you pay a little bit less attention to that, or for sure I did. Um, so... That's one of them. And the se third, second fiction, third book, 
is this book by, um, it's The Innocence by Francesca Segal. Francesca Segal. Um, so apparently, and I don't remember, apparently I read this book because I have flags in it. <laughs> I don't remember what it's about, and I think this was also another high school book. Um, so I have no idea, and I can't really remember. Um, I don't even know what the storyline is on this one, honestly. So let me go ahead and read the back. Newly engaged and, unthink and unthinkingly self-satisfied, 28-year-old Adam Newman is a prized catch of Temple Fortune, a tight-knit Jewish suburb of London. He has been dating Rachel Gilbert since they were both 16, and now they are, fin they are finally to marry. To Adam, and to Adam, Rachel embodies the highest values of Temple Fortune. She is innocent, conventional, and entirely secure in her community. Marrying Rachel will cement Adam's role in a warm, inclusive family he loves. But as the wedding gathers momentum, but as the weather as the wedding gathers momentum, Adam feels the first faint touch of claustrophobia. And when Rachel's younger cousin, Ellie Schneider, moves home from New York, she unsettles Adam more than he'd care to admit. Ellie, beautiful, vulnerable, and fiercely independent, offers a liberation that he hadn't known existed. Adam finds himself questioning everything, suddenly torn between security and, ex and exhilaration, tradition and, and independence. What might, be, what might he be missing by staying close to home? Even reading the summary, I don't really remember <laughs> this book, um, but I like the cover. And obviously, I'd probably like the cover when I was in high school, so um, I kind of want to start reading this one and figure out if any of it I remember, because I really don't remember anything. I don't even remember these names, and that's kind of sad. So um, those are my three books that I've decided to read for April, um, and I am kind of excited to start because I haven't read in like read for myself in a long time and because we have so much time right now um while we're like staying home and um self-isolating and um it's important to keep our minds um healthy and always running and using that brain power <laughs> because we don't want it to become mush so um I am very excited to start these books and I will definitely keep you guys um informed about my progress in the books um and I'll do that on Instagram um, so I'll link my Instagram below. Um, and then I'll also link my Goodreads account um, or Goodreads profile for you guys so you guys can see the books that I'm reading and see the ones that I'm like thinking about for next month and um, stuff like that. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more content like this, if you guys have any suggestions of things that you want to see on this channel, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to add those um, video ideas to my list. I want to make this channel something that is for me, but also something that will help you guys and also entertain you because that's what I like to do, entertain people and help people. So if you have any ideas, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to make those videos for you guys. Um, like I said, please don't, please don't forget to subscribe and then I will see you guys soon. Okay. Bye.